temple, boys and girls, men and women, and everybody in agriculture just kept to the plate, continued to communicate the importance of uh, this overall policy because it affects every consumer. Uh, and, and certainly the cost of that when it comes to food assistance programs that are that are, that are important. Uh, but we, we really need to tell the whole story about the farm bill. And I challenge you all of you to do that at every, every chance you get. It's also important. Uh, we have commodity programs that are very important. We have a research university system that's uh, incredible economic importance to this state and to our nation. It's incredible importance to our future. What is the next generation of people in agriculture? How are they going to be able to be competitive in the world marketplace without the research capacity at Fort Valley State, the University of Georgia, here at the Tipton campus, uh, the, the Agricultural Research Service, and, and all of those other important assets in American agriculture that are probably funded. And those type of activities come through a part of it. And so uh, when it gets down to consumers, maybe the last word here, just remember, when you're funding USDA, it's kind of like our agency. And y'all know some of you heard, heard this for quite a while. We touch every person in Georgia every day. And most of them don't know that. But when it comes to the integrity of the food supply, uh, making sure that, uh, that uh, you know, the food is safe in the counter, that that integrity in the marketplace is, uh, is maintained, then uh, people are confident, consumers are confident, and then you, you know, we have a great marketplace to, to do business in. And so those assets must be, continue to be funded with USDA and Evelyn. Uh, I, 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 just the, those overall things that really impact this whole agency and all of agriculture sometimes get lost when it comes to a farm bill, farm bill discussion. So uh, certainly uh, we're uh, we're looking forward to uh, some, some great comments today. Uh, Sir, I close with maybe one thing that won't be talked about quite so much today, but it's, and certainly I know it's a, an area of this uh, discussion that you've been given great leadership in, and maybe a couple of these. Is, uh, is first uh, in the area of school nutrition. We, we started a program called Feed My School for a Week. It's a, it's a test program that fits in the whole uh, in initiative of Farm to School. A lot of people here that have been actively involved in making more of those uh, uh, resources available to get fresh Georgia products into the school children in the school lunch programs. But the, the facts are we have kind of a promotion arm of the agency that does one thing and then we have the enforcement arm where there's some obstacles that are there about how that, that, that accessibility. And I'm hoping through the pilot program at Cockle County, Blackfoot County, and the elementary school in Hall County, we're going to be able to really document some of those those challenges. And perhaps if we get into the, the whole school nutrition discussion in this in this bill, uh, or certainly any, any kind of future legislation that uh, we can have some ideas that can contribute uh, a great uh, in trying to find a solution that moving forward. And of course, lastly, there are uh, uh, there are many issues relative to well, not a farm bill issue. There's going to be some discussion today about the future of immigration policy in this place. Uh, this time last year, we were passing a state bill. Uh, I don't know that I was. Uh, don't know that we were, we, we realized that the, the whole issue of uh, immigration would play so much in the future of the Georgia Department of Agriculture, some of the things we've had to do in the public arena, but we, were, uh, we appreciate the confidence that the Georgia General Assembly showed in our agency to be able to produce some ideas, hopefully for the future of this area. I want to introduce Floyd Taylor, who's uh, right down here in front of us, has just joined us. The General Assembly has uh, dedicated a, 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 bit of, uh, a bit of money for uh, the next couple of fiscal years to us to have Really, some boots on the ground to help to help uh, our producers in communicating what the farm labor needs are. What are the challenges with the current H two A program they're facing? And really improve the communication so we can engage the federal government much quicker when the problems arise. And if y'all y'all don't know Floyd now, you're going to know him over the course of uh, the next few weeks and months because he and another gentleman from my staff, uh, Taylor Williams, will be hitting the roads at least four days, if not uh, five days a week all across Georgia, engaging producers, being in commodity commission meetings, trying to make sure that we understand but in rapid fashion and we can communicate in rapid fashion what the challenges we're facing during this growing season. Because uh, quite frankly, during our study last year, that's one of the things we found 
it just wasn't a whole lot of communication. There were some things we were hearing were 14 days old, we were 17 days old. We need to we need to know from producers immediately when there's a problem, and we're going to be engaged there to uh, try to assist you in every way possible. But certainly, if we continue to use uh, the advantages of being able to uh, discuss this, uh, perhaps from my position, my uh, face to you is that uh, every waking moment it is something that's on the tip of the tongue and developing a, a, a reasonable immigration policy for the future of agriculture is certainly important to your livelihoods, but do not forget, it's kind of like a farm bill. My challenge is to remind your folks in at home, your neighbors, folks in your Sunday school class, whoever, whenever you have a chance to talk about it, that the future of immigration policy in America in the field when it comes to agriculture, and part of the economy, but it's important to every consumer in America. And so I want those jobs to stay here, we hope that, uh, and, and through Senator Chambliss' efforts, has been just tireless on this issue, and has done so well, and, and has got so much to offer to move forward, that uh, we've got to get behind him, and, and we've got to get his back, and we, we've got two great United States Senators, we need 98 more to step up, and, and to help solve this problem for the future of America. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it is a, a, a very sincere pleasure for me to introduce somebody who you know, who, who served in Congress, who's now served on the, as our senator, who has been the agricultural champion for our congressional delegation for nearly a generation. Uh, he is uh, a local, uh, a local son here uh, in California. He knows our issues. He knows what our family's needs are. I thank him that he is, he is the heartbeat of the conservative. I have great respect for him. And he is the kind of leadership that we need to uh, continue to uh, move America forward and sort of get us back on the right track. I hope you will join me in giving a warm tip and tip county in the southwest towards our senior center, Congress Secretary.